Hey everyone, welcome back to Genshin Impact. So this time, we're gonna see this person to get a bell. So, let's just go. Ah, there she is. What's she looking at? Huh. <sighs> All things must change. Oh. Um, how do you do? Hmm, youngster. Are you here to admire the flowers? Yeah. Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted. Oh. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. That's cool. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. Hmm. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lilith? Yes. The rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They uh. are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. What? This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark and the fire will consume us all. That's very <laughs> reassuring. I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? We come to borrow a cleansing bell or borrow something? Yeah. Borrow something? Oh, you've come to borrow the cleansing bell, yes? Yeah. Apart from that, I don't oh. have anything of value that you youngsters might want. That's sad. But it was not originally mine, either. That trinket used to belong to a friend of mine. Mm. I was a vain beauty when I was young, and... I would pester him for that bell all the time. All right. He could not dissuade me, and so he gave it to me. But he said that if someone should come to borrow it, I must not be loath to give it away. She relieved to Mr. It has Payne. been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Mm. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. Well, we can look for it. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. Sure. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. All right. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa. Yeah. But this is Eugene Terrace. It's got to be expensive. Mm. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. That's cool. How does that work? Um, in you go, Paimon. Um, is the bell all you own? Rude. Hey, no, it's not. And even if it was like that, it must be a very expensive bell, right, Granny? Probably. <laughs> oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere oh. inside this teapot, and I knew it. you are quite welcome to borrow it if you can find it. Um, all right. This granny is so weird. What? what does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? Is it a portal? Let's see. Aren't you youngsters in a hurry to find that bell? No. 
Hop to it then. But be careful. I haven't cleaned this place up in a long time. If you were to get dirt on your beautiful clothes, it would take some work to clean up. Is this a portal? Is the teapot a portal? This is a peaceful neighborhood. No? Um, yep. It's a portal. I knew it. The teapot's a portal. Whoa. Nice place she has here. <laughs> Okay, so this is like a dungeon. Oh. She has a waterfall too, look at that. Cool. Alright, come on. Now let's just go. Oh! Where are we? What just happened? So we went to her house. Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now. Go fetch that bell. Where's she sleep? That sounds like Granny's voice. So, this is her teapot? Yeah. What's going on? Oh, oh no. yeah. So many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Yeah. Sorry to trouble you children. Please help the old lady clean up. Well, we already said we'd do some chores, so I guess so. Fun. Alright, is that it? Yep. Alright. Um, she has to have a bed or something to sleep here though, right? Where is that? Um Some thorn. Should we remove them? Um, let's do it. I don't know, they're kind of plants, but... Why would she want thorns? Yeah, she probably doesn't want them here. Let's clean up. I already don't hope, but at, at the end of this, uh, she says, like, Oh man, destroy my house plant. Yeah, she probably doesn't want them there. These those things are house plants, right? Did you notice? Oh. The cobwebs were made of elemental energy. Really? How long has it been since Granny last swept this place? I don't know. Is elemental energy? Does that mean I can have a lot of character that can use cobwebs and attack? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Oh, come on. This guy first. Annoying. Oh. Alright, come on. Alright. Get out of here! I don't know. Just gonna stand there? Nope. Oh, I'm sick. No. I thought I was saved. Alright, alright, come on. There he is. It's your turn. Yeah. In that slime. Oh, let's clean this up first. Alright. Come on. Alright. You know, with such a special teapot and the cleansing bell? Yeah? Do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? Maybe. Let me try cleaning this. Yeah, no, never mind. All right, let's just go. All right, all right. What? Really? Oh, I'm saved. No, I'm not. Oh. No. All right, all right. Why did that disappear? Oh. 
actually, let me jump from up here. I can make it there. I, did I, if I didn't fall off, I would just run by this. Oh, I can actually make it. Alright. Um, would we be robbing her if we opened this? Nah. Probably forgot about this chest. Oh, there's an air current here too. Alright. Come on. There we go. Oh. Yeah, he seems to have been just disappearing. Alright. Okay. I don't know. They just like it there. Everyone has their own preferences. Right, come on. Alright, that's it. Ah, one of these guys. No. No. Oh, really? Do I just follow you? Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to remove these slimes. Come on. Come on. No. Alright. Oh, we know there's more. Okay, come on. There. Oh, more webs. You have to clean up, we said so. Come on. Oh? Oh, a chest! She won't mind us taking this too. Alright. What's this? Um, can we climb this? They can climb vines, right? No, we can't even reach it. Alright. Oh, more thorns. There we go. Oh, we're really cleaning up. We're doing what we said. In there. Uh, how many levels does this teapot have? Oh, let me see. It would be nice if we had one of these too. It would. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. Um, let's see. This looks like the last floor, actually. Doesn't seem to be that much out there. Alright, let's go. <gasps> Alright, come on. There's the last floor. Oh! Last place, too. Look at this. All the other nice stuff. Do you have a place to sleep here or what? Let me try climbing this first before we leave. Or we can't climb it, let's just leave. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Thanks. Oh, now, let me see. A trap? Oh. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. Okay. Leave them. In. Yeah, this is a dungeon. Oh, there we are. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. Are you with the Fatui? No. Um, you're an Adeptus? An Adeptus? Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. Is that a yes? As to whether I am one or not, child. Surely you already understand. Okay. Uh, Hyman kinda knows what you mean, but is also kinda confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Liyue Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. Okay. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, uh. 
Catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the right of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. All right. Now All right. that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. Yeah. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Um, what if he doesn't return it? That's always possible, right? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. Okay. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Yeah. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you. Yeah. That if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. All right. We will. Thanks, Granny. It's bigger on the inside. Yeah. Let's get these. <sighs> it seems my old friends just can't stand idly by anymore. Let's just hope nothing messy comes of this. Okay. Alright. Let's get this thing first. There he is. Got the bell. Indeed. This is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Alright. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Um, do you know Madame Ping? Are you Mr. Ping in disguise? Of course. Oh. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If oh. you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. All right. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. Cool. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. All right. Ooh, Paimon loves kites. Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? I don't think so. <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. All right. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Um, okay. Oh, well, there she is. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Oh. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangshan oh. Funeral Parlor. So he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. Don't see that. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. Yeah, we did. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. Oh. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Oh. 
Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. All right. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. All right. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. Um, As all right. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. All right. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before. Oh. Um, huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Yeah. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once... Yes. These details are masterfully done. Yeah. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Do you actually bring money? Well, allow me. Huh. Do you arrange for me to see her? <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. Mm. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. Mm. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Yeah, or pretty perhaps much. you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. Yeah. How has he not died of hunger yet? Survival skills? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. All right. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Yeah, all right. Hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. Like what? I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. What? Use Bagamora, all right. What? 50,000? Try your luck betting on Jade? Okay. So, good name you got there. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. All right. Adventure. Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Oh, well, after after crystal flies? Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000 more. What? What say you? No, I have five crystal flies on me. I could just use myself. A most fair price. No. No. Let's see here. Oh, man. I want to give him three. Can't give him three? All right, 8,000. More than enough. Let's see. No, go higher, or I'm not doing this. Oh, seriously? There we go. Five Geo Crystal Flies. Yes, I do think it's worth about this much. I'll do it. Yeah. 
Alright, next guy. Oh, it's right there. Alright, how much? A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. Mm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? No. It's not. Oh, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? No. He's Hero not. of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the no. whole sum. No. There we go. It's not too much. Hey, that's a good price. No. Anyone would work for this much, Mora. I give him too much. <laughs> Alright. Alright, the last guy. Tick. Oh, I get it. Tick tac toe. Yeah. Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. No, that won't be necessary. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Eugene Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. Alright, 50 tree branches and 20 sticks of timber. No problem. That'll be 20,000 more for a single trip. How does that sound? No. Done. No. We don't even have enough. Let's negotiate. This is all you got? Then no can do. Uh, Child, Child has the rest. Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? Yeah, he has it. Now, still no. Th wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? Just walk to him. Mm. How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now. And... And? Get me a single chinkson flower, oh. and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this child fellow. How does that sound? All right, I have one. No choice. All right, all right. Have you brought the goods? Yep. Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare, and I have no idea where I'd find them. Oh, I got one. With this chinks and flower, I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. Oh. I'll make sure the work is done before I return home. That's nice. Cool. There he is. Let me tell you. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. About that, you think you your guy money. Off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the no. next payment is coming! You still owe that guy <laughs> money though. Well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need. And maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. No. What info do you need? No. Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Um, I don't know. Yikes! You're right, Signora! Uh. <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. What do you mean? You want information? Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? We're having a staring contest? Everything is fine. Sort of. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Alright. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I think I'm going to end the episode here for now, so I'll see you all later. Goodbye.